define into a standard use of the smartphone. We are still, majority of users are still using their smartphones for calls, for SMSs, and maximum for mails, not beyond that. And this figure has been collected after doing extensive research and the survey of 1837 people in India. Out of that, 79% people use only three services on their smartphone. And because of that, I feel that it is very important that we need to understand what is the need of the hour and what exactly the smartphone is meant for. So today I'm going to present the whole scenario of a smartphone in India, the evolution, what we are going to do, how the smartphone is evolving in Indian market, what are the trades, what are the OSs which are penetrating the Indian market. So what you can expect. So I, I'm not going to hold you for very long over here and really I'm also not going to speak much about KitKat. How many people know about KitKat? I'm not talking about the KitKat chocolate, right? This is a next version of Android 4.4, which is known as 4.4, and Google has tied up with KitKat also. So now if you're going and buying any of your KitKat chocolate from the market, you will get the Google logo on that. Similarly, if you're, you know, if you're seeing the KitKat logo on Google Android 4.4, you will be getting the KitKat logo also on that. So there are enough of videos which has already been shared before. So Google has decided that next version is going to be named as KitKat. And as it said, we are not going to take any break in this session because I'm just quickly going to wrap it up. Now, if you see, we need to understand the whole first before we jump into the Indian market. It is very important for us to understand what is the global scenario. How big is the global market? The global smartphone I'm talking about. Every day, at least two to three hundred thousand people are buying various ranges of smartphone, which starts from hundred and fifty dollars onwards and keep goes up till seven hundred to eight hundred dollars. Obviously, when you talk about seven to eight hundred dollars, I'm talking about iPhones. But really, is this starting from $150, even many of the local vendors are offering their smartphone in $100. So let's see which particular OS or which particular manufacturer is penetrating the market. Now, if you see the overall, this, I'm, this figure is up till the uh, uh, August 2013. Overall market, Android is getting 39.9% market share of the complete smartphone. All the smartphone which has been sold till August 2013, Android has powered 39.9% operating handsets. It has been followed by iOS, obviously Apple iOS is the most preferred iOS generally in US, UK and most of the developing nations, developed countries and Apple is also trying to penetrate the developing countries now like India and China. However, we are slowly going to talk more about that. So if you see the overall, if you add up both of these, close to 63% market share has been penetrated by Android and iOS itself alone. So is market share by what? Sorry? Market share by number of devices sold, revenue by what? No, this is all num by number of shipments till August 30th, 2013. The total number of devices which has been shipped till August. It is not, I'm not talking about a quarterly and I'm not talking about yearly. It is still 30th of August. The number of devices which has been shipped. Now, if you see, this is again still, this is the overall mobile market. So if you see, there are 40, uh, series 40, which is still penetrating 13.88% market. Siemens is still in the market because there are so many users who are still hanging with the traditional Nokia phones. So Siemens is still there, which has got 6.3% of market share. Blackberry, which is slowly dying off, we all know. They're still holding 3.9% of market share. And then which is followed by Samsung very own baby Bada, which is 4.7. Now, interestingly, if you see here, Bada has got more market, higher market share than the BlackBerry OS. This is not because the BlackBerry is not marketing its own OS. It's all because Samsung is working with Intel for the OS called Tizen. And recently, Samsung has decided to kill Bada only to adopt Tizen. So if you see the market share of 4.7%, it is a significant market share and automatically when the Tizen will be in the market, the whole market share will be penetrated by the Tizen. Others, besides these OSs, if you see the overall demographic of the mobile OSs, there are so many other local OSs. If you talk Ubuntu is there, similarly there are another so many OSs which are still penetrating 8.1% market. 
So this is the whole mobile OS market share as of 30th of August 2013. What is Series 40? Series 40 is the Nokia OS before which used to come. Java based. Now, Indian, this was the, that was the glo whole global scenario. Now this is the Indian smartphone. Let's see what, how exactly the whole demographic has been set in India. Samsung in India, it controls 26% of its smartphone market, which has been followed by Micromax. Micromax is the second largest smartphone vendor in India, and Carbon has got 13%, followed by Nokia 5% and Sony 5%. Now, interestingly, if you see here, besides leaving Nokia aside, all the rest four vendors are penetrating, are, uh, all the handsets by these vendors have been powered by Android only. Because Nokia is the only company which has got the tie-up with Microsoft and that's the reason all the Nokia handsets are powered by Windows Phone OS. So otherwise, if you see, if you add up all those things, automatically it's coming 75%. Because interestingly, if you again, if you see here, this is a big chunk of the market share which is untapped, which is being controlled by Apple iOS, because the iPhone, and also lots of local vendors. When you talk about the local vendors, that could be Lava, that could be Intex, that could be so many, there are at least six to seven local vendors available in Indian market. So iPhone and local vendors. So those vendors are controlling 29% of market. So overall, if you see in India, Android controls 75% of smartphone market. Now, let's see what is the top smartphone markets by shipment in 2017. Now, if you, this is a scenario of 2013, if you see. Now, in 2013, if you see these figures are in millions, if you see China has got three, 301 million, 301 million, US is the second largest, 137. But if you see India, in India, the smartphone penetration is still very, very low. Even this is, this is only 3% of global smartphone penetration. The, uh, currently, in 2013, India has got only contributing only 3% to the smartphone market by shipping, to, by having 27.8 million. However, if you see the growth in next five years, by 2070, the whole scenario is going to get changed. India is going to become the third largest country in the smartphone market. India will be controlling 10.1% of total global smartphone market by having 155.6 million smartphone handset in country. So at that time, if you see India, if you see the complete chart, India has got the, India is emerging as the biggest nation, the, the highest penetration of the smartphone. However, though China is, clearly you can see the sign that China has got more number of smartphone devices, but if you see the overall growth in all the developed nations, including China, US, and UK, the growth uh, is, has been stagnated in the smartphone market. In China, if you see overall 32.8%. Now, this is 32.8% of total smartphone market share as of 2013. Though the number of handsets are increasing, the market share, the market contribution of China is coming down to less than 30%. So, if you see similarly in the US, Currently, U.S. is controlling 15% uh, in 2013. U.S. is 13% of smartphone market. U.S. is controlling 13% of market share of a smartphone. However, by 2017, the contribution of U.S. will come down, dive down to 12.1%. The scenario is no different for U.K. also. So if you see all these top countries, India is the only country which is showing the biggest sign of improvement. And India from 3.13% in 2013, it will reach to 10.1% in 2017. But again, it's all about money. How many of uh, here use iPhones? Okay, four or five, right? And yeah, and how many of us are using a smartphone which is more than the screen size, more than five inches, probably phablet. Uh, it's not a phone, but it's a tablet. Phablet. Uh, so only one person. Surprising. Anyway. So when we talk about uh, smartphones or when we talk about tablets, it's all about ultimately revenue. It's all about money. What developers are making, what publishers are making from that particular application or a smartphone. So when we see the whole scenario of the smartphone, it's not like, it's a very interesting situation. It's not like that since we have seen that Android is growing very largely leaps and bounces, 
Android is penetrating Indian market as well as the global market. However, the Microsoft is the biggest gainer out of all the situation. Microsoft has emerged despite of the fact that the maximum number of handsets has been shipped, has been powered by Android. The second largest is iOS, but it is the Microsoft which is earning the most. How? Let me show you. Microsoft is minting millions from Android. According to a study, Microsoft is earning royalty earnings at least 70% of all Android handsets being shipped currently across the globe. All the 70% handsets which are powered by Android, Microsoft is earning royalties from that. So let me show you how much Microsoft has earned in last few quarters and how much it would be earning till 2017. In Q4 2012, Microsoft and in Microsoft earned one close to one billion dollars from Android. Microsoft earned one billion dollars from Android in Q4 2012. This I'm talking about a calendar year, not a fiscal year. Say the numbers went up, it reached to 1.52 billion in Q2 2013. And the same number, if you see the overall picture of 2013, the whole year, Microsoft is expected to control to is expected to earn 2.38 billion, and the number will surge up to 4.67 billion by 2017. Now these are the numbers which Microsoft is going to earn without doing anything from Google's Android. And again, these are the numbers which has been calculated based up only upon the smartphones powered by Android. If you add up the tablet figures in this, which are again powered by Android, the number will go easily reach to close to six to seven billion. So what's the point? Mm. So yeah. Android, yeah. So that's what I'm telling you. Microsoft has emerged the biggest gainer in all this complete scenario because here Microsoft is absolutely doing nothing, right? Google, they need to put lots of activities in terms of development, in terms of research, in terms of maintenance. Google is also fighting lots of in terms of, you know, malware and all. However, it is ultimately the Microsoft. When you talk about the Microsoft Financial, when you do Apple to Apple comparison between Microsoft Financial and Google Financial, the overall profit from the smartphone OS of Microsoft is much more higher than Google's profit. So, I, first of all, I don't see any numbers from Google and how Google doesn't release Android numbers. No, Microsoft also doesn't release these. These numbers are not officially released by Microsoft. Now, but this how do you know they are more than Google? Because that's what I'm telling. We, if you calculate, there are six, seven research, uh, six, seven reports. If you calculate everything, if you mix everything, what we have done, let me explain you how exactly we reached to these figures. We have got a report which has been, which says that how many total number of smartphones were shipped, Android-powered smartphone, how many number of devices shipped in 2000 into Q2 2000. 13 powered by iOS. Similarly, out of that, how many, because another report claims that Microsoft is getting 70%, uh, Microsoft is taking $8.5 as a royalty from each Android devices. And again, Microsoft is collecting this royalty from 70% of devices being sold across the globe. So if you calculate all those things automatically, Samsung has got a different arrangement Initially, Microsoft tied up with Samsung with $12 for each smartphone, which ca came down to $10 on an arrangement that Samsung will sell Windows Phone. And that was a clear arrangement. So because of that, the, 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 uh, the royalty earnings came down to $10. Similarly, Microsoft uh, tied up with HTC on $5. Similarly, it has been tied up with LG, it has been tied up with ZTE, with different, different figures. So, but do you have any numbers for Android? That's what I'm asking. Yeah. So how do you get those numbers? If Google does not publicly release, how are you getting No, them? because there are different sources. IDC is there, Gartner's <coughs> are there, they are releasing lots of numbers, right? So it's not only Google. Even Samsung also doesn't release what is the official sales, right? So if you see the IDC figures, if you talk about the IDC figures, if you talk about the Gartner figures, they release these numbers on quarter and quarter basis. So if you mix everything, if you add up everything, so you will get the final number which is going to get shipped. Then these are the projection. In 2000... I for a moment also want to believe that Microsoft is making more money on Android than Google, which doesn't sound any logical person in this room would not agree with this, right? Sorry? Mike, you're trying to say Microsoft is making more money from Android than Google. No, I'm saying Microsoft is making more profit on Android than Google. I'm not saying more money from Google. I'm saying more profit on Android than Google, right?
So if if you want, I can I can. Google is investing, but Microsoft does not have to invest at all. Yeah, surely. I, I'll come back to that. Obviously, I will clarify all your doubts, whatever you have, because obviously there is a big calculation behind that. If I, if you want, we can open up the whole calculation and probably we can have one on one session and you can understand how exactly the calculation has been done. Right? Now, do app developers know their market? Yes. The overall app development market, it is 100, worth $100 billion by 2015. Now, when you talk about this app development market, it includes your application services, includes your application revenue, includes your application development, revenue sharing, everything. Android has numbers, yes. Android has numbers, but iOS keeps the revenue. If you see the overall demographic of the application revenue, the Android has more numbers in terms of application. However, it's iOS which is earning more from those uh, those uh, applications. I have just few statistics over here, probably which will be helpful for you to understand. Google Play Store has got two store has 2.1 billion <coughs> monthly download compared to 1.9 billion from Android App Store. So Google definitely has got more numbers than App Store. However, if you talk about the revenue, Google Play Store accumulates 27% of combined revenue against Apple, which gets 73%. So this clearly says that iOS has got more revenue, though Android has got more numbers. All right, so mobile apps to generate 25 billion in 2013 globally. Overall, if you see the mobile apps are uh, projected to generate 25 billion in 2013, App Apple iOS takes the biggest pie. Now, Apple again, as I mentioned, that Apple is leading in terms of revenue. Apple takes the biggest pie over here. Again, I have got few figures. If you see Apple iPad and iPhone, which generate 65% of total app revenue. Out of this, this is close to 25 billion, as I mentioned over there, and 65% is going directly to app, uh, Apple. Out of which, iPad, Apple iPad will get only 8.8 8 .8 billion alone. So if you calculate 65% of 25 billion, automatically the revenue is 25% of revenue is coming only to Google Apps, while rest of the, all the revenue is going to app, Apple, right? Now, to justify my own, uh, the numbers what I have projected, here is something, uh, something, some few more charts which I want to present, how exactly Android, and iOS is penetrating the whole ad impression market. Because when you talk about the ad impression, automatically the money and the revenue is coming from there. So these chart, if you see over here, that this is a complete devices mix. This is a based upon the impression. And this is all about Q1 2013. A smartphone has got 70% of ad impressions. The ad impression which are happening on the smartphone, that is 70% overall I'm talking about the devices. However, non-phone connected devices, non-phone connected device here, I'm talking about tablets. Those are generating 25% of total ad impressions. The rest of the devices, which is feature phone, they are getting only 5% of ad impressions. But again, if you come down the same, if you divide the same figure in terms of OSS, it's an Android which is generating 52% of total ad impressions against 39% from the iOS and Blackberry has got 7%. So overall, if you see, again, the numbers are always staying with the Android. However, the, the revenue part is always going towards the iOS. Okay. So, how exactly you can make more uh, money from concentrating on the iOS? Now this is something category distribution of our top 1000 application on iOS platform. If you see the games and entertainment application are generating the maximum this one app, app offers in app purchase control 59% of total app list. Games and entertainments are, are apps the distributions. And if you see the app rating matters the most, recently we all know that Apple has revised its rating system. So the application which are getting four or more than 4.4, uh, 4 or 4.5 ratings, these are getting prioritized in terms of searches. When a person is making a search 
to to on on the mobile to find any particular application the application which has got the rating of 4 or more than that they are always getting prioritized over that automatically those have the revenue coming from those app will be getting much more higher than compared to other application in that way if the whole application is being categorized you can clearly see the games and entertainments are leading what are, what are those numbers which one games what is that Top, top yeah, top this one, top hundred thousand. Okay, how many applications you are getting it in the, in terms of games, in terms of entertainment and all? These are among uh, out of top one thousand application which has been evaluated. Yes. So the top thousand are in, I mean, top thousand grossing apps or what? No, top thousand applications on uh, uh, I am um, uh, app store. By what thousand in terms of downloads, downloads grossing? Or? No, no, total number of downloads. Okay. Yes. Now this is another interesting figure which. Uh, I wanted to show you. Now this shows, if you compare it, how much Android uh, application compared to iOS application. Now, if you if you compare it, if you compare it, the Android and iPhone, this is the CPC cost. You can. CPR is click through ratio. Right? Sorry, that is uh, I believe. Uh, yeah, sorry, that I my mistake. That is CPC actually. This is CPC cost. Click cost per click. This is CPC. Uh, CPC. If you see Android and iPhone, you can do Apple to Apple comparison. In Android, in December, this is still December 2012. In December, on Android, each ad will get 80 cents compared to iPhone, which gives you 1.04. Why I'm presenting this fi this figure over here is that all the publishers who are focusing on these smartphones and platforms. Why, on which particular platform, which particular OS they need to focus more? Because here it is clearly visible that iPhone on iPhone, you get much more revenue, at least 30% higher CPC than Android. Similarly, the scenario is no different in terms of tablet. If you compare Android tablet with iPad, on Android you get close to $1. However, on iPad you get $1.4. So that is again 40% higher than Android. So it clearly shows that iPhone as well as the iPad, both uh, leads than Android in tablets <coughs> in terms of revenue, in terms of impression, in terms of down, in not in terms of download. Yes, definitely in terms of publishing revenue, in terms of total application revenue. This was a short presentation which I wanted to present overall the scenario between the uh, you know two major OSs that is iOS versus Android. I would like to take any of the questions if you have. Yeah. So you presented uh, essentially an ROI uh, uh, comparing Android and uh, publishing an app on the Android uh, store and the iOS store, right? No, I have not taken only one particular segment. Ah, I have calculated, I'm just yeah. Giving a broad picture. Yes. So did you also do a breakup of uh, who the major uh, as in users are? So what is the uh, who who are the people who use iOS mm -hmm. as compared to who are the people who use an Android phone? Okay. So when you say the who, obviously you're talking about type of users, right? Yeah. So generally, when you talk about the users, there are different, different sets over there. However, there's no research reports available till now. We have not done or neither we have found any research report available on that, which can categorically divide that what type of users are on iOS and what type of users are on Android. So I have a number here that hmm. says uh, the average app price mm -hmm. on uh, as of April 2013, mm -hmm. on the Android store is uh, 0 0.06 okay. uh, dollars. Mm -hmm. Apps for iPhone on an average cost uh, 19 cents. Mm -hmm. And apps for the iPad, they cost about 50 cents. Correct. Uh, where is the data from? Um, uh, Flurry's blog. Okay. Yeah. So, um, what my question is, how do we uh, analyze why there is such a big distinction or such a big jump? Mm -hmm. So, from what I understand, it has to do with the users. Correct. Right. I mean, uh, otherwise, if the user base was same and their uh, behavior was same, correct. Then everybody who's publishing an app, correct, right, uh, would ideally price it same. But I mean, uh, I don't remember the names, but I've seen a couple of apps which are paid in the uh, Apple market, but are paid in the Android market. Here, I would like to quote another report which I have not mentioned over there. Uh, I am exactly not able to recall that report, but that report says on the global level, uh, paid applications, are users are buying more paid applications on iOS devices rather than Android. 
the scenario is yeah the same one yeah, this, so and the scenario is no change in India. Even in India, the ad revenue for developers' point of view, it's very very less. In no matter whether it is iOS or Android. However, on Android, the applications are available at very very low cost. Or you rightly mentioned 0 0.06 cents. However, if you talk about the iPhone, that is 19 cents, and again that will surge up to I believe 50 cents to iPad, right? So it all depends on the users, and that's the reason why I'm trying to focus all those things and why I have said that these these numbers should be there because. Developers should know where is the money. If you are developing an application, you must understand which country and which OS you should focus because ultimately it's all about revenue, ultimately it's all about the earnings for you. Yes? So there, it's kind of complicated, right? So let's say like, I have two options. I make an app, mm -hmm. sell it for X dollars. The other option is I make it free mm -hmm. and then I use some ad network in movie or something mm -hmm. to display ads and earn money from ad impressions. Okay. So how do you really compare over the lifetime of my ad, mm -hmm. how many installs? So if you if I have to think that the Android installed base is much larger, especially in India. Correct. It makes sense to make it free and then earn money from ad impressions. Right? Correct. So you it's not as simplistic as saying that okay, this study says that iOS is nineteen cents and fifty cents and Android is six cents, so let's just develop for iOS. So I'm just saying it's more complicated than that. And another point I would like to make, which is just an observation, not really an insight, is that uh, most reports point to the fact that the quality of apps on the iOS store mm -hmm. is much higher. Yes, absolutely. So I think there is a vast potential for making quality apps on Android. Correct. But there are some inherent limitations that Android is super fragmented. Mm -hmm. uh, various OS versions. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, that is the biggest challenge. Devices and it's difficult to make quality app which will run great on all the devices on all Android versions which are out there. Correct. So on iOS, I know that 70-80% of iOS devices are running the latest iOS release. And See, 93% are running on iOS 6. And to add up what you mentioned that uh, due to challenges, uh, just last month in, in August, the 1,000 applications are, were found infected on Android, app, uh, on Android Google Play. However, if you see the same sort of category, the same, uh, uh, same sort of numbers on uh, app stores, on the Apple app stores, these numbers are very, very few. So if you compare with the Google app, Google Play Store and Apple App Store, automatically you'll find the challenges on Google Play is much higher than Apple App Store. And as I said that night, the, the another problem with Android is fragmentation, iOS, iOS 6 is running on 93% of devices. However, if you talk about the gingerbread, that gingerbread is still running on 53.9% of, uh, of market share of the total, uh, uh, I believe, the Android versions. So there again, that is challenges because again, the whole market is divided into multiple versions of Android. However, it is clearly 93%. So again, just to interrupt, just a second. Uh, we have a feedback session at 5.30 at Asteroids. So please do join us. We would love to hear what did you like, what didn't you like. It is. And there's a special from Ola Caps as well. So one of you might get to ride in a Jaguar or Mercedes back home. So please do join us. Thanks, Kadi. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so there, are, there is the numbers could be different because of a couple of reasons. Right? Mm -hmm. One was that, uh, and you know, Google was not supposed to. I mean, it was not allowed to go. Uh, you know, pay for quite some time. So for uh, you know, quite a major part of its. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, t till it became Google Play Store, mm -hmm. it was it was actually bound by some. I mean, this is this is what I heard. Mm -hmm. Bound by uh, some rules saying that they, they cannot sell apps. They have, you know, that's the reason why this uh, apps so free. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Number one. Number mm -hmm. number two. Google is free, and uh, to actually post and post apps on Google is not free. Google is patent fee which was clearly mentioned and I have, I think I've projected before also, there's a huge amount of patent involved with that. And that exactly because if Samsung is paying a certain amount to Microsoft or any XYZ, any OEM is paying any amount to Microsoft, automatically they'll be loading it on the total price of the handset, right? No, so no, do not consider Google is free, Android is free. Okay. Well, what I'm talking about is for a, for a person, I mean, this is again what I've heard, mm -hmm. so you can clarify if I'm wrong. Uh, when you have, when you want to submit an app to the App Store, uh, mm -hmm. the, the Google Play Store, mm -hmm. it's not, it does not cost you too much. 
Correct. Correct. When you are talking about an IOS, yeah. it is it is hundred dollars. Yes. So probably because of the before because of charging, iOS will be able to look at you know quality in a much better way than Google is uh, you know being able to do look at it. That's the reason why the you know affecting affected apps might be more on Android. Number one. Mm -hmm. Number two is because. You know, for quite a long time, the apps were supposed to be free on a Google Play Store. That's the reason most of the apps might not be of a great quality because everybody wanted to basically go and create an app. Absolutely. So, the and on the Google, yeah. The major reason I think is Android is open. Okay, so you have a lot of piracy also on Android. The piracy part of it, like getting the apps from some other website or something, or Black Mart Alpha, is very easy. But whereas in an iPhone, you'll have to jailbreak it. Which not, the the users number of jailbreaking users are very few, and plus getting those apps after jailbreaking a phone is also very difficult. So the numbers don't count in your statistics there, right? It's I mean, not only the number. Let, let me so if I am a developer, mm -hmm. my the pirated apps I've so the pirated apps downloaded by people mm -hmm. will not come into account, right? That Correct. account does not stay. So all the numbers, so all your calculations also go apart there, there right? No, it's not like only the numbers of, about that. If you talk about the overall application and the size and what you said that most of the challenges malware and due to security challenges are there with Android. In that scenario, if you see the iOS has got a better situation, iOS has got a better market to sell it across. Uh, just last uh, month, I believe, there was 539 applications were detected on Google Play Store, which was single click infections. So you just click, single click, and immediately your devices, the moment it's getting downloaded on your devices, your devices are getting infected. So such type of you know activity has never been recorded in iOS. And that's the reason Android is becoming more and more risky affair for most of the people. However, if you talk about the iOS in terms of security, you cannot really compare that. And that's the reason most of the people are really willing to pay more on iOS app rather than Android app. So that's the reason Android, if you talk, if, if you consider all those scenarios, automatically the revenue coming to Apple from the iOS app is much more higher compared to Google. Yeah. I have a question. <coughs> As a developer, what should I do from your research and everything? Should I go for an Android first or an iOS first? See, it depends. See, it depends whether you want how do exactly you want to monetize your app. So it all depends on that. If you want to just monetize your app from the traffic, I would suggest you should focus on iPad. However, if you wanted to go in the in-app purchase or something, then I would prefer you go for the iPhone before. But again, it, it, it uh, again depends on the what country are you targeting. Now, if you talk about India, 75% of market is being penetrated by Android. And then again, if you you know launch your application in India, focusing on iOS, automatically I don't think so you would be able to make up such much such amount of money, right? But again, uh, most of the uh, smartphones that are running Android as of today, which is which actually smartphones are in the hand of people who don't know how to, how to actually. Yeah, that exactly I said. Smartly. That exactly I said. So There's only three activities. The major thing. Which an app on uh, on the Android store because they they are not going to pay pay anything. Correct. They don't even know how to use it. Correct. But again, if you talk about India, I gave you the example of India because in India, if you see, uh, I do not have the report again here. In India, uh, the paid application market is very very less. I think it is less than one percent. So you cannot really compare over there. I do understand, yes, most of the people, the Google uh, Android users are not going for paid application, but again, on, Appli on Apple side, the first of all, the market, the whole market in India itself is very small, that is only 23%, and then out of that, less than 1% people are only going for paid applications. I don't think so, it makes any sense to give a priority to iOS, in India at least. Yeah? Can you shed some more light on how Apple rates its applications? Uh, is it just, based, just based on user what's the ratings or something else? Uh, you mean to say that recently with the Apple which has been yeah. uh, right now I'm not ready for that. I'm really sorry for that because I have not gone through in details. Uh, but what I know uh, that uh, recently Apple has revised its all ratings uh, uh, system. I think that was two two weeks back, and uh, the whole system. The, all the effort is made, Apple has made only to ensure that the best of the application should be at the top and the developers who have developed such applications should generate the maximum of the revenues. Yeah. 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 It's all about the user interface. If the user is rate, suppose the example I'm giving you two, two apps, one is the Instagram and second one is the Indian hotels. These two are the apps which were got five star rating in Apple App Store. As this new policy came, they got one star. Okay. Because of the, uh, that the video part you made in the Instagram, the rating decreases from 5 to 1. This is all about user interface. 
but they have changed it. That's the reason. Those are not user based ratings. That's the user based. No, that's the Apple Apple rating, not user based. Okay. But this is the thing which user will use if Apple will provide us. Star wise. Apple will say it's five star rating. Then the user will use as the more uh you know what Apple So Apple more useful gives you ratings and not the end user. And user rating is different. That is different. Here, the Apple. What about scope in Windows Mobile? Okay, so for to to understand that, to understand, let 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 me narrate a small story. You know, it was a very I feel personally that is my perception. It's a very well calculated activities which Microsoft performed. A person joins Microsoft. He is being head of devices. After three years, he leaves Microsoft, goes to Nokia, forced Nokia to get a tie-up with the Microsoft, became head of that. Again, you know, get it sold to this one. And right now, what we are doing, a poll is going on on the side. If you see, Bill Gates is leading number one position, and Stephen Elob is at number two position. The third one is Facebook CEO Shilin. She is leading at number three position. So you, yes. She is leading at number three position. You can understand. <laughs> it's a well calculated affair. Yeah, there's a simple point. There's no not much of story. Yeah. Yesterday I read somewhere Microsoft has announced that you can bring lightly used iPads. Yeah, yeah. You can get a surface. Yes. You can exchange. But tell me, tell me, but tell me how many users will really do that? Even if they do that, how many like? It clearly shows that they are actually criticizing the new uh, Surface. They are actually See, Surface is a failed product. Exactly. Let's accept it. Surface is a failed product. Even Microsoft is working on Surface 2 now, and Microsoft is already in talks with few carriers in US where it can offer the discounted price. However, Apple is getting failed only in terms of pricing because for Apple, pricing is the biggest challenge. For Android, the malware is the biggest challenge. Now, if you talk about like you know, we have been waited for. I, yeah? I just want to tell. After the session, uh, please head to Astro. Yeah, we got the message. So if you see iPhone 5C, which was claimed as so low cost, low cost, low cost. Now that is available on 549. If you buy in US, that will cost you 587, including 7% US taxes. If you ship in India, that is again 7% charges plus uh, $20 your uh, shipping. That comes down to 1700 if you ship it via local. This one altogether it comes down to $700 in India. However, Apple is trying to make it very low and most probably Apple will launch iPhone 5C 16 GB at 36,000 because uh, Reddington yesterday has confirmed that uh, Apple is going to charge a currency conversion rate at the time of 2012, October 2012 when it was trading at 53 rupees. So Apple is taking the hit of 14% in terms of cost to make iPhone 5C much lower. However, 36,000 as per India market is not a low price smartphone. No, Let's you, accept the fact. See, when you look at the quality, I would prefer to go for that because in the, as an Android user, instead mm -hmm. of getting my very system infected and degrading my software, mm -hmm. I would better invest a little bit much more. <laughs> but then you're you're a minority, that's what he's like. No, 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 but, but again, in, in that terms, tell me, don't you feel it is a confused product? 549, you're launching iPhone 5C with 8 megapixel with plastic body and with a difference of $100. At 649, you're launching 5S, which is having a 29 megapixel, uh, you know, camera, uh, yeah, camera and uh, a lot of U U UI sensors and all those stuff. With a difference of $100, don't you think Apple is getting lost somewhere? No, and whether you like it or not, India is a price sensitive market. So yes, absolutely. You can get a, so if somebody who is a first time smartphone buyer is getting something equivalent of $80, 4,000, 5,000 rupees, micro max, you get a very decent smartphone for 6,000 rupees. Why would, I mean, somebody who is price conscious will not go for Apple, they will go for no, Apple. No, Apple is not meant for price conscious people. Even if you see carefully, Apple has changed everything. Apple has discontinued, uh, discontinued iPhone 5, but one thing has not changed. <coughs> it is not in tagline. Can anyone tell me what is the tagline of Apple? Think different. Think different. No. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I also do not remember, but I have little idea. Meant for uh, pre premium, something like that. Yeah, I, I was just reading yesterday. It is the same thing. Apple has not changed that tagline. 
which clearly state that iPhone is meant only for premium class. No matter you take iPhone 5C or no matter you take iPhone 5S. So Apple is not ready to give iPhone 5, iPhone 5C or whatever it is in 20,000 or 25,000. Uh, interestingly, what he mentioned, I want to quote another report. IDC says by end of 2013 in India, the average selling price of iPhone will be $200. So if you calculate based upon that, the average selling price of iPhone in India will be 15,000 rupees. If you, if you take it as per today's rate, 63, 64, 65, whatever it is, 13, 14,000 rupees. I don't think so. Apple will even ever bother to compete in that market. No matter what it does. It cannot get iPhone 5C or iPhone 4S to 15,000, 13,000. Even after exchange, you know, trade in offer also, I think you have to pay some 17, 18,000 rupees today to get iPhone 4S. And again, that is an outdated model. Right? It can only happen if it is assembled in India, like China. <laughs> now, surprisingly, in China, the iPhone 5C is available $765. Can you believe that? Yes. Manufactured in China and getting sold at $765. No, but I, I'm just asking, what is the point of launching 5C? That's exactly what I said. I have been confused between 5C and 5C. There's no point. It's very well made. Very well made. No, more, see if you ask me personally, I see 5C is nothing but a little improved model of iPhone 5. I'd like to hear his explanation to why it's a very well planned move. Yeah, please. Okay, so the few things uh, if you notice in iOS 7, it is a total UI change. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I John, why I believe that ki, uh, the kind of UI and the, uh, the colors and all things should match proper and work together. Maybe an yeah, but again, when you're projecting as a low price, five C is projected as a low price. No, no. Six colors in five C and three colors in five S. Five colors in five C. Five colors in five S. Five S. So, but the thing is also in the U S, the way phones are sold is very different. Correct. So they have a they have if, if you launch it in India, you can get the same iPhone in grey market the very next day because you cannot tra track that particular person. He bought iPhone in $100 and $200. After that, you'll be a nirma ka ek ek ad aata tha. Don't tell us jaoge. Why wale aala to jaaye? Sorry. 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 See, I feel I personal. See, I don't think so. Apple has made a good move overall. Obviously, that could be my personal views because the reason is, if you talk, I have projected here the smartphone market in developed countries are already stagnating. The, the leftover market is only developing market, and when you talk about developing market, that is India, Indonesia, and China. Mm -hmm. Now, you cannot sell a phone saying that uh, 36,000, 37,000, and you want to compete with the Samsung 20, 25,000 rupees range because that is the highest. Uh, uh, you know, level where the most of the people are buying that, that uh, the phone within that range, right? Mm -hmm. So you cannot really compete. One side you want to penetrate is developing yeah, nations. You are going very wrong direction. The iPhone is a Mercedes S, Jaguar kind of thing. You are comparing with uh, your Maruti uh, uh, No, no, no. I am not comparing with uh, iPhone with any particular handset. I am telling Apple is focusing. No, no. Apple is focusing on developing. Apple has got no other choice, right? But again, if that market, if that market is being driven with a low price handset, average price handset, does it make any sense? The other thing is, by the way, it's not stagnated. So in the U.S., it's not as if I buy iPhone five and then I am happy for five years. People will refresh it after 18 years. Correct. If Correct. I, so there are Apple fanatics. Every time Apple launches a product, they will join the queue to buy the new Apple product. Right? They Correct. The so they network. have an assured. So and they can be also sure. Also locked with the network, right? Yeah. So yeah. yes, as soon as yes. AT&T that AT &T contract expires, they will buy the new Apple. Yes. Yes. Force for, correct. But, but, how but again, those numbers are not that big. Those numbers are not that big based upon that and a company like Apple can rely on that. Okay, fine. Apple is, you know, my premium market. So let's wait. Each and every user will, you know, replace their handsets. Obviously that will happen. But again, that will be a only sizable. That will be not be a very big sizable numbers. So we have Apple has got no other choice as of now. It need to concentrate whether it is India, whether it is China, whether it is Indonesia, whatsoever. So, yeah, there, there is 
uh, work towards the US. All the uh, everything on Apple is basically US. 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 US is owned by Apple. Everybody uses Apple over there. No, and, uh, no, 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 no. Android market is higher than iOS in US. <laughs> US, yes. The mind share is <laughs> no, yeah, mind share. Yes. See, what do you say? Like the Bluetooth transfer thing, uh, Apple, Apple to Apple transfer is only possible and uh, stuff like that. And uh, they've launched the five, uh, five C for ninety nine dollars on uh, contract. Correct. Yeah. 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 Exactly. They're just targeting the US market. Yeah. yeah. But then no, no, no. no. See, see, the other thing is they cannot actually cannot launch on, that in India. Yes. They cannot actually focus on the US market to this one because one of the recent reports that I read said most of the Asian markets, which are uh, like uh, India, China, etc., are the ones who are having the uh, the youth uh, sec uh, that's 15, 15 to thirty five or thirty six years Let is the uh, is the uh, age group. Let me give you another example. Is. Why, why, why? Tim Cook made. Eight trips in last two years to China. No, China mobile. China mobile. Seven hundred million, the largest mobile carrier. Seven hundred millions alone with China mobiles, and that is the first time China mobile is going to launch iPhone five on its career. Five C. Five C. There is one thing uh, that uh, both beat Google with its uh, Nexus series and uh, Apple with uh, its phones. Thing is that they don't really concentrate on uh, Southeast Asian. Chinese markets. At this point of time, reason being, um, so an example is that the Nexus 4 uh, price was dropped by $100. Right. In India. It's not even available in India. It's not available in India. It is. It's not released by Google. I know. It's, it's yeah. available for $25,000. Uh, Wherein it's what? $30,000? Uh, so it, it got reduced uh, by $100. Is that, that's yes. what so why is this not in India? Thing is, uh, a very recent uh, statistic gave uh, something like uh, in about what uh, Feb of this year, 22 percent of uh, the Not Christmas. Okay. First thing, uh, in quarter two, they have shipped 20 million smartphones. Micromax Samsung. The market share is 22 percent. Obviously, the Micromax is a, India is a price sensitive country, and Micromax, what are the product they bring? It's a dual SIM with the 1. something gigahertz processor and the 30 megapixel camera something. So the device price if in, in India is 15 plus something. Guys will say, okay, let's have Micromax. I am going with the Samsung brand of grand 20,000. And another thing, Micromax handset, which is more than 15,000, is not a success. Even you talk about Canvas 4, Canvas 4 it is a flop phone again. Canvas 3 was successful. Because that was less than 15,000. So yeah. still Microsoft need to prove its presence Microsoft. in middle segment. Yes. Right? The another one which is going to come, uh, which has been released, I think the name has been released. I, I don't Doodle, think so. Droid Doodle, Doodle, Doodle 2. Doodle, Doodle, Doodle 2. Doodle. That is again going to become, I think, some 18, 90,000 rupees. I believe ah, close to it. Yeah. So it's still, I think Micromax is still need to prove its market share over there. When you talk about twenty thousand, that that is known as a medium segment over there. So I don't think so. We should say okay, Micromax will take over. Or Micromax will leapfrog Samsung in that area because Samsung has got a very strong hold. If you see, Samsung has got on every quarter inch of a screen, Samsung has got one handset. It start from three point five going till eleven inch. You 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 think about it, and you have a Samsung handset. Any quarter, 3.5, 3.7, 3.94, 4.2, 4.5, 4.7, 4.5, 4.7, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 
it is keep on cutting the cost on battery. You are talking about six inch phone, which has got 2100 mAh battery, which is not going to give you any backup. Right? So a few days before, we have projected a report that, uh, that the tagline of Canvas 4 was life is endless, right? Yes. And that we have projected life is helpless. Because after projecting that particular handset, we got that you are hardly getting six to seven hours backup if you are running on Wi-Fi and 3G. So if you have a bigger size, you need to upsurge all the related component in a proportionate way. You just cannot, just to save your cost, you cannot say yeah, you will load the whole handset with only 2100 mAh battery or 2000 mAh battery. That is the biggest challenge for Microsoft, Micromax. Okay, I have a question. Yeah. So I would like to know your thoughts on the hardware aspect, like uh, Qualcomm versus Intel versus whatever. Mm -hmm. the other people who make the <coughs> high stack processor and stuff. Mm -hmm. so, so right now, I think Qualcomm is by far the yes, leader. the best. Do you force me? Do you think? Uh, actually, we are not into hardware. We are generally into industry analysis and use, so we have more control over that, unfortunately. Yeah, please. Uh, while, uh, uh, Apple will just discontinue five. IPhone 5. IPhone 5. See how how it's going to do. Tell me, you have you are continuing for if you go to Apple side, you will get only three handsets now after they launch 4s, 5c, and 5s. Do you think 5 makes any presence because they have already got two handsets of the same screen size? Do you think three handsets on the same but screen why, size with iOS 7? Why do they want to discontinue a phone that they released last year? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, uh, and why not they, they are not discontinuing the phone that they released two, three years back? I'm talking about 4 Because Apple Normally the trend is the last the last phone. Like if the last phone is 4, they discontinue the new last phone. They continue the oldest. Oldest phone. Yeah. Yeah. And then they release the new phone. But 4S was more popular than 5 at all. Yeah. If four yes, more 5, five, five, five the production Any cost, the production up. number was got, uh, I think they, in last year, Which Apple uh, cut down the production numbers of iPhone 5. And obviously 4S is still doing, if you see the 4S when it was launched in India, uh, with the trade-in option, I believe, the Apple sales went 400% up within 3 months, January, February and March. Within 3 months, the Apple sales went 400% up. So obviously 4 and 4, 4 and 4S is the best product in India but, for Apple, but by far. everybody knows that Apple, if Apple is if launching another phone, if a new phone, then that phone will be better than the last phone it launched, right? Mm -hmm. So the thing is, why do, like, why anyone wants to buy an old, old it's a free, phone? It's free. It's free. Yeah. Yes, unfortunately, it's free. 4S is free. Yeah, 4S is free. If you're buying this, this one it is free. That's not only now, isn't it? That's no, not, 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 yeah. not before. Not everybody no, no, buys no. a phone on contract. So no, that's what you guys have talking about. If you buy, I'm talking about India. <laughs> India, there is no, uh, not like India. India is an after product. India is a dumping product actually. Dumping product. Yes, well, India is a dumping product. When they launch iPhone 2, they release India in iPhone 1. No, zero point one. Zero point one. All right. So, any other queries? No, no. Let's move. <laughs> so I, I, I request I request all of you that uh, we are also doing our second study on the smartphone market in India. The the study is starting like the first phase of the study is survey to collect all the responses. So I request all of you to please visit research.daysinfo.com and record your responses. That is a survey of like 25, 26 questions over there. So I would suggest you to hardly take three minutes. If you can fill it, that would be great. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Thanks for your time.